Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and thank you so much for checking out the channel. Today we have a special, sort of an impromptu video talking about the Deltacron. That totally sounds like a Transformer, doesn't it? The Deltacron. Deltacron, assemble. <laughs> that's, that's not making it in this video. So anyways, uh, the question that we'll be discussing and talking about in today's shorter video is if this Deltacron truly has the genetic mutations of both the Delta and the Omicron variants, won't it spread around the world like wildfire similar to the Omicron variant, and won't it be as deadly as the Delta variant? Well, the short answer is no, and here's why. The Deltacron technically isn't a new variant of the coronavirus, but rather a hybrid form. What do you mean, Mitch, by a hybrid form? Hybrid forms have actually occurred in the past, but they haven't really gotten a lot of press. When Delta was the big bad dominant strain, there were several case reports about a Delta variant being genetically sequenced that had traits and mutations similar to the Alpha variant, as well as Delta plus the Beta variant. These have been select cases from the past, and each of these hybrid forms actually died out very quickly. Deltacron has only been found in Cyprus, primarily in hospitalized patients, which gives the illusion that this hybrid form is potentially more virulent. The key phrase here is only in Cyprus. This Deltacron has only been sequenced in one lab in one particular country. The likelihood that if a hybrid variant actually exists Existed and would be theoretically as highly contagious as it ought to be, then we would probably see it in many different places around the world. The most likely outcome of this Deltacron is that it is a lab contamination error. The individual who first sequenced the strain of the new Omicron variant in the UK has also reported that this new Deltacron genetic profile looks to be quite clearly contamination taking a direct quote. There have been many more scientists as well as virologists around the world that have also stated that this is most likely a lab contamination error. Also, the United States as of today has not labeled this Deltacron a variant of concern. In fact, they haven't even labeled it a variant at all. Obviously, there will be more information coming about this transformer in the future, so make sure to tune in to future videos. Thanks for sticking with me through this short coronavirus update, and as always, stay healthy, and I will see you all on the next one.